And we're back. Get going here. Welcome back. Uh, things have changed since the last game. Got upgraded some mechs. I like to do the upgrading and fixing stuff while I'm not on stream, so I don't waste anybody's time. Um, got ourselves a Marauder, Cataphract, got the Orion running, and still have the Dervish. Well, that will be our most uh, most likely upgrade here in the coming matches as we look for a new LRM boat. So we might end up with a Catapult in the meantime, but ideally a Longbow in the long run. I've got one piece of the Longbow. Um, and so we will hopefully get that up and running here real soon. Get going here. I did a single one on one match here just a little while ago. Diver, you're in the Orion. Uh, Juice, you are in the Cataphract. And Hotspur, you are in the Dervish. Everybody happy? Alright, we got our two spotters there. We are good to go. Alright. Blow something up. Shall we? 3049 look a lot like 3025. All fun and games until the clans show up. No data, that's encouraging. Oh, YouTube. What am I going to do with you? I guess I could put on a bikini and head over to Twitch, but I don't think anybody will like that. Well, hopefully the no data thing will go here. Oh, we went from no data to excellent connection. Imagine how that works. Command interface initiated. Goodness gracious, the black. All right. All right, everyone. Stay Run up the side of this mountain. We'll just march straight forward. You know, if it ain't, ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm there. I think anyway, oh, no, I've got one mech with jump jets. The, the LRM boat has jump jets. Sky. Reserve. Let's see what happens. So Fifty tonner, probably a hunchback, as it tends to be. Juice, you are going to sensor lock. Yep. Oh, how did I know? That's why I get paid the big bucks. All thirty cents a day. Yeah. enough let's be reckless oh it's a stinger that's not gonna do any good oh I guess I have enough heat sinks I may have overdone it on the heat sinks wow okay well, that works or stinger Just brand new Mac warrior most likely going out on his very first mission oh, okay never mind 
All the empathy. All the empathy is gone. No more empathy. Had empathy right up until the point that he nailed me with two PPC shots. That I'm not a big fan of. Warhammer, nice. Let's see if I can core you out. It'd certainly make you regret standing out there. Well, we're off to a great start, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Let's just take a moment to... While this game reloads, just take a moment to think about the circumstances of that headshot. <laughs> Brand new Marauder. Still got that new mech smell in the cockpit. Probably has a few stickers still on the buttons. Do not remove until you are the owner. And then some hunchback comes along and blows your cockpit out with an AC-20. What did we learn? I think we learned that uh, random number generators can be fun. Yep. Command interface initiated. Sometimes you're the bird, sometimes you're the worm. Alright, let's try that one more time. Without the headshot. Alright. Okay. okay. I feel like we could do we can do better. We can do better. No problem. I got you. On my way. I'm there. It's no. Operation Sneaky Sneak here. I'm here. We'll do exactly what we did last time, except not be terrible. Okay, no deal. Good, good, we good? Alright, we're good. Ready to rock. 60 ton vehicle. I wonder what that is. That's a little concerning. This is most likely a hunchback unit. Trebuchet. Yes, stand corrected and flabbergasted. Hotspur, we nail with juice, and then we rain down the fire. I need to know what that is. Oh, it's a manticore. The manticore. It's somewhat feisty tank. Got a decent amount of armor on it. Definitely more dangerous than the Locust. But at least my other mechs have something to shoot me. Alright. 
Here we go. More rain, more rain. Bring down the rain. And then just brutally murder this locust. Engaging target. Ah. Uh, not as much fun as last time. Alright, reserve. Figure out the pattern now. Reserve. Then what? We, in this case, we're done with that. So we're going to go ahead and start shooting stuff. We don't have to sensor lock when we can just see things. The debt. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Big tough locust, it's gonna run out and get shot. Kerosene. One more for the rubbish bin. Yeah. What can I do you for? Got the high ground, Anakin. I got him. Just a bit outside. Do some math. Yeah, that probably work. There you go. Math. <laughs> Who uses math? Every problem can be solved with LRMs or Inferno missiles. And accuracy they make up for it with volume. For example, <clears throat> hi Trebuchet. I guess I forgot about you. Sorry. Could have been better. Armor holding. Yep. All right, juice. What do you got? Here we go. Got your armor in there. Well, not too shabby. Shabby. I'm just gonna kill you. And I'll kick your head in. Yes, Commander. Alright. Another Narc Beacon, wow. Gonna light him up like a Christmas tree. Scratching the window. 
Let me out. I want to be an outside cat. No. You would last all of five seconds out there. Thing, please. Sheesh. Trebuchet that will not die. Hi, Victoria. Long time no see. Can't play Battletech anymore because I'm computer broke. Oh, that is sad. I'm doing well. Glad to hear from you. Hope you're doing well too. It's kind of doing the thing, doing the, doing all the things. <laughs> Looks like I only the new target. Painting mechs, doing a lot of mech painting, playing games, doing the parent thing. Trying to raise two decent kids. You know, struggles of life. This Marauder has too many heat sinks. You shouldn't be able to fire all the Marauder's weapons at the same time and not get hit and not get heat. It's sacrilege. Marauder is supposed to be a hot box. It's practically a dogma. What is, that? is it a temporary computer issue or is it a long term computer problem like you need a whole new computer? I'm worried right now about burning out the video card just because they're so darn hard to get. Keep hearing horror stories about people who order cards off Amazon and get something with like an empty box with a lead weight in it. Or even worse, a card that has, that looks like your card but they've swapped out the GPU on it and then put the fan back on. Ugh. Sent your PC to the shop over this before and they didn't know what was wrong. You know, again. That's rough. They're supposed to be the experts, right? Order acknowledged. Though I very briefly worked in a computer re repair shop and I guess I'm not too surprised if. You got it. Some pretty uh, dubious practices sometimes. I didn't work there very long. Alright, we're So other than the, the computer, how are you? How are things? You doing okay? I know that's relative considering it's 2022, but okay has a vastly different meaning than like five years ago. Okay, but I think you maybe get what I mean. Trebuchet. I don't think the trebuchet is worth something. Turns off suddenly, won't turn on again. Tries to boot and fans turn on, but doesn't even get to assist us. Huh. Yeah, I imagine that would be difficult. I think my next my next stop would probably be like, do you have a public library <laughs> nearby? <laughs> Go old school and just studying at the library. I don't need a locust. Uh, 
All right. Well, the cataract pilot's got to be good because it has a lot of nice gear on it. I would rather not lose the gear. <laughs> that starts training. Oh. All right, am I... All right, I can do some of these missions that oh, I don't want. To do. I hate convoy missions. There we go. Battle Tundra against. Hey, convoy missions. Job is done, Commander. Uh, commission the VTuber avatar everything. Uh, full in. Sweet. Yeah, I have one. I just I have like a 2D one that doesn't move. Well, actually, it did move. Its eyes blinked and everything, but it was, felt like it was always on the way on the screen, like no matter where I put it. And so I just kind of turned it off one day and didn't turn it back on. No one complained either way. So I. I doing? Oh yeah. I talk and play games at the same time. Uh, da, 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 da. And I guess that would be the key. Wow, eight parts. That would feel like a perpetual early game. Ugh. <laughs> it doesn't sound fun to me. I try to get out of the early game as quickly as possible. It feels like a nightmare. Click. Fire. You've missed with everything. Okay. Next turn. Click. Fire. You've missed with everything. You can only kill so many javelins. Javelins, locusts, stingers, and wasps. Be an achievement for killing like a thousand locusts. Well, I hope you I hope you find a way to get up and running again. That's the, the best time to start streaming is five years ago. Right? Oh boy, it's this map. Yay. I've played the game too much for you to instantly know what map is and where the bad guys are. It's rough, I really want the achievement. The trick is to go about a pirate rep early. That at least 20. Sounds like a strategy. I think my next game is going to be kind of pirates because I've never gone pirate rep route. So um, this one I was uh, House Leo, as the name of the stream would suggest. But that achievement has been achieved. So not really sure what I'm doing here with this game. Kind of did what I set out to do. And reduce. Are you far enough away? You're too far away. Yeah, we're gonna get you up and running. Well, we'd love to get you back in the channel. It's it's definitely grown quite a bit and shifted to uh, just kind of the, the mech frog type brand channel. So you'd definitely be welcome. Um, we don't we don't talk about anything like politics or anything like that. All that's keep those I, things to ourselves and just do kind of fun, positive stuff. So you'd definitely be welcome back if you if you want. Just walk 30%. You see? No, not very much. I'm here. Ten four. 
44. Cool, cool. You're always welcome. What I need to do here in the next next few weeks as we go through summer is set up an actual streaming schedule so I can be predictable. Because right now it's kind of like whenever I'm sick of painting and I need a break, I will hop on the stream. And Oh yeah, the hammerhead's nice. I've got it. Um, it's primed and kind of painted a really, really dark gray. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it yet, but it'll definitely be the kind of Diamond Shark-esque type colors. Just have to figure out a plan. Spider. How dare you. Yeah, Hammerhead's a nice cool shark. Definitely a good, interesting example of uh, evolution and um, uh, what's it called? Specialization. Yeah. Cool animal. Specialized versus generalists. You guys will remember all the way back to high school biology. Human beings being great generalists. start putting down these light necks quick so they can't be annoying the whole match. 55. What's 55? Travel in packs, hunt alone. If you're ever if you're ever a fish, look out for lonely hammerheads. Okay. I'm gonna write that down because that feels like something that will actually while it doesn't seem important at the moment, I, I could see it come later on in life going, oh god, what did Victoria say about hammerheads? Oh, damn it. Screw. Knew I was in trouble when I woke up as a fish. Schools and stuff. Packs. Uh, no, no, no. Good point, good point. Alright, leave Marauder alone. coming in. I'm going to put some of these down. Shadowhawk. All weapons committed. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. 
Gaggle of Geese, School of Fish, Murder of Crows. Plethora of dolphins? I don't know. Those dolphins. Onion or big pig is. I don't know. So we'll find out here momentarily. Pot of dolphins, yes. Uh, that's it. That's why that's why we pay you the big bucks. Raven. Well, that's not as good as I was hoping. this at all. Too many mechs. Yeah, what can I do you for? On my way. Don't like this at all. Outside. Conspiracy of Ravens. That, that is actually the thing. Poor cat fact is getting beat up. Yep. Time to move. gonna happen right there enemy eliminate just about done putting up with your nonsense let's do that I'll make a little bit of a buffer here for a cataphract and hopefully do you think twice about running forward? Piddly medium mix. Insulting to the baboons. And a star of battle mechs, or a lance of battle mechs, depending upon your personal preference. I hope there was nothing important in that arm. It's not actually... It, yeah. uh, it's just a good large laser, jeez. What are you complaining about, frog? Copy that. What are you complaining about? Copy 
You can take a seat. Elementals. God, which book? I, what, what book was I listening to? I drove for twelve hours over the weekend, so I was listening to a book. I can't remember the name of it. Which BattleTech book was I listening to? Um, anyway, it was about the aftermath of Huntress and the destruction of Clan um, Smoke Jaguar. So it wasn't though. It's kind of what what happens afterwards when you have this reformed Star League trying to take over a Huntress and offer really kind of good insight into um, into clan life and kind of what what happens after your clan is destroyed. You just you just cease to exist as a as a warrior or a technician or whatever your case was. And the people who took over the planet didn't really seem to have a plan. So, kind of reminiscent for uh, somewhat recent history. But you go in and you take out a government, and then what are you what are you left with afterwards? So, definitely some comparisons to uh, contemporary history. Can you leave the cataphract alone? It's kind of already mostly dead here. Oof. Damage is minor, Commander. There's some more Battletech books. There's some more Battletech guys doing a reading of the Great Death Trilogy. Yeah, it's. I'll have to. Let's see here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, my phone. Forever Faithful by Blaine Lee Pardo. So it talks about kind of a couple of main characters, the Jaguars mainly, and kind of their their dealings with Nova Cat, and um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I got you. Good to go. Yeah, I'm not too concerned. I need to get the pressure off the. Cataphract. By doing shit like that. Stuff like that. I mean. <laughs> Target eliminated. Cough, cough. All weapons committed. Think we've got this one. Vindicator. <laughs> yeah, Vindicator is pretty good. Um, I would certainly prefer it to the the oh, what's the one I just blew up? The the one with the AC two. <laughs> when you get the heavy metal box and it's always that mech, it's very frustrating. We'll make yourself useful with the sensor lock. I've got a sensor lock. Let's see if we can't kill this. What's up, Commander? Vindicator. Yeah, the Vindicator's solid. I wouldn't uh, wouldn't be unhappy with that. Early on. Best thing about that couple. Well, that doesn't set the bar very high. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best trash can. Yeah, it's still a trash can though. Come on. I 
I did have a raven for a while. I think I still have a raven. Ravens are okay. Is it sad on you? No, because eventually you play the game enough that you instantly know, oh, it's a 50 ton mech and it fired this weapon, so I know exactly what this is. Yeah, it's pretty it's predictable. You feel that, Vindicator? A feeling of inevitability. You can feel, you can feel it on the ground here in a minute once I knock you over. Kind of out of your depth there. It's just like 35 tons with a PPC. What mech is it? Well, it's your Panther. Uh, 55 and LRMs. And an LRM5? Oh, it must be Shadowhawk. 50 tons and an and, uh, AC weapon? Probably a Hunchback. Mission successful. Get, get pretty used to the patterns. That's even worse with the base game. At least this has some variability in it with uh, different variants that show up. Oh, that's so raven. Alright. Any good weapons? No good weapons. Alright, well. I don't, don't really need anything here. Let's. Light Vindicator. Let's just take the Vindicator. Two pieces of it. Not too shabby. What about the Thunderbolt? I don't. I, yeah, I don't know if I would ascribe the Thunderbolt to any specific house. Maybe, maybe Steiner and Merrick if I was pushed. Oh no, this isn't Rogue Tech, this is, um, gosh, it's like BTE Commander, Extended Commander Edition or something like that. can never remember. I'm getting COVID brain. Oh boy. Okay, which one of these should we take? I don't want to alt-tab and go to Sarna. Should we just random it? Either of you know? Yeah, in the, in the AC, sure. Yeah, EC10 could also be a sim, yeah. I just randomly pick one here. Yeah, I think when I, at least in, in this game, when I've seen a, the Thunderbolt, it's very often when I'm doing the Steiner stuff. But I've seen a couple times in Merrick's land. I think I'm just going to... 1R is the base model. Well, let's be fancy and see what the SIC is. Sure thing. We'll see that it's and we'll the red. That's why the Torians have so many Thunderbolts. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So you learn something new every day. There we go. Got ourselves a Vindicator. Look at that. Moving up in the world. I'm somebody. The new phone books are here. The new phone books are here. Oh, that's a pricey repair. Lost my accuracy laser too. It's no fun. Logged and noted. What is that going to take? I think we got to move anyway. So six days. Um, this was just weapons. And you sh I should take a look at that before we go, just so I can see what kind of indicator it is. Um, we'll do two and a half. Yeah, zooming out. Not not a happy video card. Let me zoom out. All right. 
Let's go to the border. Roger that. Into the Coast same Park. border. Way to get morale. Oh, we're going to take a look at the five laser spots, one missile. Large laser range improvement. Eh. That's not super useful for this game because you so rarely would be out of large range distance anyway. But it's okay because I'm not really going to use it anyway. Faction get the royal thunderbolt outside of starving clans. Times hate more than Capellans or Danians. <laughs> they hate I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Hmm. Drama, drama, drama. Something fun here. We could have another cataphract. So typically, so typically, House Leo. Uh, Clint, too. It's fun. There's another piece of art. Nope, it's the wrong longbow piece, but actually, I can put it together anyway. So. New equipment right, available. One more longbow piece, and we're good to go. More cooking with kerosene. Alright. Do we want to finish another cataphract? Um, hmm. I'm not sure we're gonna, not sure we're gonna need it. Let's wait on that. Typically, you want to buy stuff after you do all the missions yep. that you know Bye. what kind of money you're dealing with. Uh, you know, diver, you need to get that Training. so we can get up to the heat thing. Standing by. Uh, Just initiative to move after shooting. <laughs> okay. Training confirmed, Commander. Mech Warrior training complete. Ready for order. Training complete. Alright, what do we got? How's it going, Steven? Good to see you. To the races here. Got the pirates and trying to avoid being killed. I missed the very beginning of the, the stream where I went out and got myself headshotted in the brand new Marauder. <laughs> Not long looking. Yeah, you're getting going there. In the land of tomorrow. What's the future like?
<laughs> when the spending report is in two days. Oh no. <laughs> ah, bankruptcy. That's when you get to like, that's when you start uh, looking at the mechs that are in your mech bay and like, do I really need that one? Guess not. Do I really need that Raven? No, I guess not. Buy me another half a month. Alright, this fun mission. This early on, it's kind of nice to have the cash to buy the one part mech part you need. Definitely need a new arm boat. I need that last longbow piece, and that will drastically improve our, our goings on. that extra initiative that's nice that'll help affirmative commander now I don't have to reserve that first turn 30 20 no, do 30 urban mech which one is it yes commander Let's find out LB 10x not that scary. Boom, 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 boom. Well, you took your shot. Can't say I didn't give that to you. Around, but you know, eventually. Eventually. No damage detected. Well. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Reinforcements coming in. Waiting for water. Two tons. Doing well, Stephen. Thanks for asking. I mentioned earlier, uh, the kiddos are off on various trips right now, and so the the adults in the house can actually have a nice little vacation. The our, our littlest one is at his grandparents' house, and our oldest one is off on a camping trip. So the house is very quiet. So we did what we did what all good adults do and got all of our chores done, right? No, no, that's not what happened. Standing 
Locust is surviving. Never there. Oh, Marauder hammered on its side. Run away. I've never gotten anything but the Vulcan in the, in the heavy metal box. All I ever get. And it's one of my least favorite starter works. Those are terrible odds. All right. Set the sensor locks on the next turn. Oh, there goes your threat. Reporting critical hit. Buckshot trash can. Yeah. I'm not too concerned about the buckshot trash can. Putting an AC2 on that dang mech is just silly. The archer, that's what might, might have been what was raining down those, those LRMs earlier. We'll find out. Yeah, I think it was an archer, or else we would have gotten PPCs on that on the Marauder earlier instead of LRMs. Critical damage detected. I'm receiving you. 
Fall. Minimal damage on that. You know what? I prefer the archer to the catapult. Absolutely. I'm with you there. to our Given the choice, I would definitely take an archer over a catapult. Just from the reasons as you mentioned, and uh, just looks cooler. <laughs> Though when I did play Mech Warrior Online, the catapult was my mech. The uh, founders. Founders catapult. Throw a bunch of lasers on there. Streaks. Good times. I'm here. Can't talk. Let's not antagonize the opponents, please. Machine gun, you got the SRM4, small laser, small pulse. You are the, the threat. At least the threat that I can see at the moment. The archer is just going to rain down fire until I can take out the spotters. All three of them. Should have been a lot easier to hit considering it has one leg. Just just saying. Still in the twenties and thirties and it's hobbling around on one leg. Don't think so.
I want to make sure this is dead. You can crawl up and get in front of me so I can kick you, sure. Go for it. Orion is really good. The Orion, Orion's kind of value, I think, I is the fact that it's it can be a lot of things. limited in respect to what you're Relax. equipping. Lucky wasp, I'll tell you that. I'm receiving you. Good first shot. That'll do. I'm not complaining about that one. Your face be red. They're softer when they get there. Squishy. Mm -hmm. Took your shot. Sarah's on an AC-20, Ah, yeah. Satisfaction. into a better spot anyway.
That's right, cool. Yeah. I'm here. When uh, early game, when you get one of those um, coil weapons, and you end up doing a hundred damage to something, and just cores it right out. That's good times right there. Thank you. Yeah, I had to clean out the mech case to do some reorganization because I'm just simply out of room. So I was taking them all out anyway, so I figured I'd do a pretty low chorus line. And it feels like a lot of mechs when you got them all lined up. Like that. Quite a few. What are you waiting to? What I really need to do is go through the box of old mechs and vehicles and pull out stuff that I had painted years ago and just never got around to repainting. Roger. Take a break some from the 3D printed new stuff and do some of the classic things. I know there's I've got a Phoenix Hawk that I'd love to do. I think Catalyst will restock the IS Lance Pass, possibly. I, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're probably gearing up for the the next Kickstarter, so they're probably not going to be pulling old stuff in for a while. Griffin. Here we go. I probably wouldn't expect any restocking of old stuff. What do I use to strip them? I haven't stripped any, but I think you could probably get away with, golly, the way it gets activated for no reason at all. I might try just like soap and water and give them a little scrub with a toothbrush and see if it just comes off with soap, unless you've um, filled them in with something, unless you've clear coated it with something. Yeah, I yeah, I just wouldn't I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for restocking stuff until after Kickstarter. Urban mech with an OB10X. The archer stopped shooting, must be out of ammo. Nope, no Has at least one more shot. <laughs> Ouch. Warning. Armor low. That hurt. Seems to get to go. Engaging target. 
Yeah. 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 Do we do the base with the mech on it? I I haven't pulled off a mech from the official official mech from the base, but I've seen it done with an exacto knife, and you just kind of saw it. If you've got one of those model saws, that would probably be perfect to get under underneath the foot. Or you could be really bold and possibly pull it out and see see how tough the glue is holding it in, but uh, there's some risk involved in that. I do remember, was not it was the Ever Given or was it the Ever Green or something like that? I don't know, but I, I do remember of course. Yeah. Did it get, it got stuck again somewhere, didn't it? company ever given okay that's why the rain sticking in my brain Shock that things were out. That's crazy. Yeah, chisel blade will work, or the little model saw will work. How's it going, Paul? About to go sleep before going to work. Well, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Japanese kunai with chisels. Famously repurposed as covert weapons. Huh. I did not know that. Learn something new every day. In case if you hang out with Victoria, you'll learn many things in one day. Variable encyclopedia of I'm useful there. knowledge. Thank you, finally. that in many ways as well. Engaging target. Usually the guy in the conversation who brings up the, some obscure historical fact, like yourself here. 
Please don't blow that arm off. Thank you. Okay. That was a hard hit. They're kind of a tool, tool with all sorts of uses, right? Fixated on sci fi. It's not a combat reference. Yeah, you know, I would agree. The, the other mech in MWO, I would have run a cataphract and often come home with uh, less than two arms, sometimes no arms. Copy that, Commander. Are you kidding me? Friggin' Archer, die! Okay, eject it, fine. And we may be picking up an archer piece here. Engaging target. That's terrible shot at shooting. Yes, come in. <laughs> Get out in front so he doesn't go after the cataphract. Gun and torso is a good idea. Yep, yeah, that's the downside of modular weaponry, right? Let's not use precision strike then. Of course, the downside of the Griffin is that it's terrible. Stand in line. That's the downside. I don't know why you would put the PPC and the LRMs on the same Ready. side of the same side of the mech. That's silly. No, the Griffin is the Griffin is a badly designed mech. I'm sorry. You never put the only two weapons the mech has on one side of the mech. Put the LRM rack on the other side. Mission successful. It's it's got the Panther problem where you see a Panther and what are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot the right arm off. Then you don't have a Panther problem. took forever well I guess that solves my issue with what type of LRM boat I'm gonna get it's like the game heard me talking shit about the Griffin and the Vulcan so I was like here have some of those thanks game you're a peach It's what you get when you take materials from other games and animate. You badly designed mechs. Hope you learned your lesson. I know there's an argument for it saying, hey, you typically have a mech warrior who is right handed, so they would favor the right and being able to aim and all that. I understand. But the trade off is terrible. The fact that you can be crippled and go weaponless by only losing one side of your armor, one side of your mech. Huge up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the huge shoot me in the head cockpit. <laughs> oh, all right. Did this have an archer? Is the question. No, it didn't. So I'm not going to buy the cataphract. We're waiting for a piece to fall there and get it for free. finish painting a mech and get it ready for tomorrow for tomorrow's mech of the day so I will say good night good to see you Digitales, Victoria Paul Steven if you're still here thanks for coming by everybody take care be awesome make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow Yeah, Panther's <laughs> <laughs>